Hi everybody. Before we start today's video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Manta Sleep. Manta Sleep makes these wonderful cozy eye masks that are available in lots of different shapes and sizes, depending on what you prefer the most. Um, everything is adjustable on these masks, so not only do you have a strap at the back that you can adjust, but you can also adjust the eye cups inside the mask, okay? So they come in lots of different shapes, and they also have holes in the middle so that you can actually blink with ease when you're wearing these masks. Another good thing that I realized while I've been wearing these throughout the day is that you can wear them um, while having a little nap, and if, for example, you're wearing a lot of makeup, it's not going to bother the makeup at all one great aspect to these. Um, these are all 100% blackout, so you won't have to worry about the sunlight getting through. Everything is super soft, you can lay on your side with ease, and it's also all made with non-allergenic fabric, so you won't have to worry about that at all. So, I for example would highly recommend the a cooling sleeping mask for the summertime just to keep your eyes nice and refreshed and cool down in the summer heat. So, if you would like to purchase one of these masks yourself, I do have a link in my description that you can follow and it will give you 10% off your purchase. So, that being said, thank you so much to Manta Sleep for sponsoring the video. I hope you all enjoy the video and that you have a good night. Sleep well. Goodbye. Yes, do come in. Make yourself feel nice and comfortable. and comfortable, right? Um, I'm afraid the doctor couldn't make it today, he's feeling rather sick, but I am his most trusted nurse, so if I have your consent, I would like to perform a little medical exam on you. Would that be alright? Very good. Okay. So I've washed my hands, okay? You won't have to worry about me touching your skin. No. I think I will need my book for this. Okay, so the doctor tells me that you have been suffering with some earache and also audible hallucinations. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything about it. So does your ear hurt more during the night time when you go to sleep, during the day? Okay. Mm -hmm. How would you describe the pain? Is it more of a pressure or is it a stinging? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, how often do you clean your ears? Okay. Mm -hmm. I will have a look at them in a moment. I just... Hmm. Have you been out in the sun a lot recently, or...? No. Yes, I presumed so. Your skin is looking a little bit pale. Mm-hmm. in the family regarding um, the ears or... Okay. Okay. Hmm. Alright. And you say you hear waves. Okay. 
when you are not close to any waters at all. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, well, sometimes when we um, have a lot of stress, sometimes it can manifest itself in our ears. So you could be hearing uh, a beeping sound or like a ringing sound, but sometimes it can also make it sound very uh, as if you were wrapped in five cotton blankets or if you have something stuck in your ear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Does it also make you feel a bit dizzy when it happens? Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. So you also experience uh, fainting and waking up multiple hours later? Mm-hmm. And who found you when these instances would occur. Right. Are you very close? Okay. Right. So, if you don't mind, I will just be having a little look here at your ears. I'm going to be taking one of these little matches, okay? to illuminate things a little better. There we go. Just here. Have a closer look here. Okay. So from the outside I can see that it looks a little bit um, sensitive. Does it hurt when I apply pressure here? Hmm. Okay. Same on both sides. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, from what I can see, it does look like your ears are somewhat clogged up. Um, have you perhaps been doing any swimming recently? Or... Okay. Right. Well, it just seems as though you have um, some sort of seaweed or uh, something along those lines uh, peeking out of your ears a little bit. Also, to get the blood flow going through your face, I would like to cleanse your face a little bit and give it a bit of a massage because sometimes our glands can be a little bit um, inflamed or just feeling very sensitive, which can cause some blockages. Mm -hmm. Everything here is essentially connected, so we want to make sure that everything is um, just free and nothing is swollen. Okay, so if you don't mind, I'm actually going to just prod around your face a little bit. Okay. And just very gently. Okay. Does that feel okay? No pain? Okay. Right, I'm just gonna go along the nose like so. Very gentle movements. Mm hmm. Yes. Now, please do not take this the wrong way, but I can sense a certain um, odour, which to me smells very as though you just come from the ocean. Fishy. Mm -hmm. It smells like you were on a very long holiday. Um, but, I mean, overall you do look very well put together and very clean. It's just, I a little confused, yeah. Just brought around a little more here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know if I'm applying too much pressure or anything, okay? Mm hmm. Go along the forehead as well. 
kitchen. Okay. So I can't detect any swelling of any kind, but I'll just give you a nice thorough massage later on, just to get things as best as they can be. to create this little solution here. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. This is a very uh, calming balm for the skin. Okay, so I'll take that much. Close it back up. And then add some of this oil. Drops on there, a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to rub this together. So we create a nice consistency to go on the skin. And then I'm just going to take this little compact here, which we used to actually use for a powder treatment, but this time I'm going to be using it to pat onto your skin, lather it up, and then remove it. And then we move on with the massage, okay? Hold still for me. Just going to blot this all over your face. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's go in circular motions. Just like. sides of your ears as well. Okay. If anything feels uncomfortable, you let me know. sit for a little bit. It should feel nice and cooling on the skin. So and then take some of this cooling liquid and apply it onto this little tissue here. And then we're just going to very gently wipe that back off. Okay. Just hold still for me, okay? that your skin is very interesting because around the 
teaser and all general central part of your face, I'd say it's very soft, the skin. The further we go to the outside parts of your face, it's somewhat, almost scaly, in a way. Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to a skin specialist recently? Mm -hmm. Well, it could be anything, really. It could be the harsh weather conditions, it could be something that you're eating that you might uh, not be too familiar with, maybe. Something that your skin is reacting but uh, I would always say it's best to make sure, okay? So I would definitely recommend that you go see a skin specialist. Mm -hmm. Yes. You could also ask the doctor, of course, when he comes back in, but to my knowledge, I don't think he is specialised in these particular skin conditions. I've actually never seen anything like this, to be completely honest. Hmm. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. It's just something that you might want to just check. Mm-hmm. We can, of course, send a letter to whoever you'd like to go to. Of course. With our kindest recommendations. I'm still Does that feel okay on the ear? Good yes. mm -hmm. We're definitely going to be doing an ear cleaning and also a bit of a hearing test afterwards Okay, since we want to get to the bottom of your Hearing issues. Very good. So, next I'm going to be taking some more of the oil that I mentioned before. And I'm going to be massaging along these parts of your face. As well as the nose and also around the ear. Drops here. Okay. Just going to go in right here and just gently push against the skin and free the skin the tissue below it from any lumpiness or bumpiness that might be causing irritations. Good. Now so along the nose, of course. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. And around your ears, of course. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that feel a little bit lighter? much pain. That's good. Okay. So, that's one part done. So next I would like to clean the inside of your ear. Now, I'm going to be using this brush for the outside, okay? And then I want to use the inside brush. Which one can we use? This one. Okay. Perfect. So first, we're just going to... Mm-hmm. 
becomes the inner part, okay? This might feel a little bit strange, but it should be a big relief to you afterwards, okay? So, I'm just going to put these tissues around you. It's had any access, or we'll simply drop onto the tissue and not ruin your garment. Ready? I'll start with that here. Not too much pressure. So you've been swimming for a long time. But I wonder if that's all that's going on. Have you been having strange dreams? they about. Okay. Mm -hmm. And did they repeat themselves, those dreams? Always the same or different. Hmm. Okay. Right. How does that feel? A bit better? Very good. Okay. Would you say your hearing has changed at all since when you came into the office? Still a bit strange. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you feel dizzy at all? No. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Alright then. So, when I look at your ears like this, I don't really see anything technically wrong with them. Um, when did these hallucinations begin? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, I did have a patient a while back who was complaining about similar symptoms, but I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm not quite sure how to um, 
contact them to ask them about their current state. Hopefully it just went away and they um, well, didn't feel the need to come back, but I still would have liked to have a bit of a chat. Now, hmm, let me get my book for a moment, okay? I'll be right back. together, if that makes sense, because we have had a few patients coming in who also had hallucinations and skin complaints, so I'm wondering if you all might have caught a similar bug, maybe? Some sort of little bug or virus? Uh-huh. Yeah. But other than that, you wouldn't necessarily describe it as something uh, life-threateningly terrible. Okay, more of a nuisance? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, all that's left to do now, really, is the hearing test. Okay, so I'm just going to mark this down here and this to the other little booklet. Mm -hmm. Who knows, you might be the missing link to this mystery. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's put that aside for now. So, if you could just close your eyes for me. Thank you very much. I'm going to be making some sounds. My fingers. Can you hear that? Okay, very good. So, I'm going to be making these sounds in your ears, okay? And you tell me where you can hear it stop first. Mm -hmm, very good, and again. Mm hmm, very good. Can you hear the snipping sound? What about here? And here? Here? Okay, very good. Okay, so if I make these sounds, can you tell me when they are closest to your ear? Very good. Using a lid, very good. Now, I'm going to be making these sounds. At which ear does the sound stop? Mm hmm, and again.
said before, it could be that you are just simply under a lot of stress, okay? Stress can do a lot of things to our bodies. So, what I would like to recommend to you, uh, oh, first of all, obviously going to the skin specialist to look at your skin. Mm -hmm. um, if I could recommend one, we have a lovely lady um, down the street who's very, very kind. She would love to um, examine and maybe even take a little probe of your skin. Mm -hmm. It's not painful at all, I promise. Mm -hmm. She calls it with ice beforehand. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, if you are able to, you could drink some warm tea before bedtime. Um, if you are reading literature, I would recommend something calming. Um, not necessarily something too unnerving. And just to try and space things out a bit more throughout the day. Okay? Give yourself plenty, plenty of breaks. And just make sure that you have an all um, well-rounded day. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. So if you should continue to um, hear those wave sounds or if you should continue to hallucinate, I would definitely come back in, see our doctor. Um, so far I can't see anything wrong with the ears apart from a little bit of a blockage. Um, we got rid of all that from uh, cleaning the ears, so you need not worry about that. So, other than that, do you have any other questions for me? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mondays through Fridays, but you can always uh, knock on the door on Saturdays. Yeah, if it's an emergency, somebody should open the door. Okay then, let me see here, um, this is still your current address, correct? Okay, no name changes, no nothing, okay, very good. So, that means I have you on file, and should I need anything else, of course, I'll be sending you a letter, or, as you don't live too far away, I might even pop over if you don't mind. Okay. Brilliant. So, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Okay? And if you need anything, you let us know. Okay? Right. You just walk over to the front desk and I will be giving you the little letter for the dermatologist. Okay. Okay then. Have a wonderful evening.